Hi, I'm Tim Tyler and this is a video about positive destructive power. I'm going to be making two points. Um, one is that destruction is favoured thermodynamically in a sense, and the other one is that some destruction can be positive. Destroying things is often easier than creating them. So, for example, it's easier to knock down a house than it is to build one. It's easier to burn a library than it is to collect it together. It's easier to criticise a novel than it is to write one. It's easier to destroy trust than it is to build it. It's easier to refute a scientific theory than it is to make one. And it's easier to kill an animal than it is to create one in the first place. In general, it is often relatively easy to create high entropy states that have little value. The asymmetry in effort involved between destruction and creation can sometimes be massive. Destructive power can produce large changes with relatively little, little effort. This principle is not quite a general rule. One area where there are what appear to be exceptions is cryptography, where it is often easier to build a cipher than it is to break one. But the thermodynamic advantage which most forms of destruction have is pretty widely known. It's often regarded as an unfortunate fact of life that it is easier to destroy things than it is to create them. Terrorists make use of this principle when they blow things up, as do those who short companies on the stock exchange and then sabotage them for their own benefit. However, what is not so obvious is that destruction can sometimes be positive. Not everything in the world is good or desirable. So, for example, the world is sometimes better if certain pathogens or predators are destroyed. Other things are good, but they hog resources that could be used for something which is even better. Old buildings are sometimes deliberately destroyed in order to make room for new ones. Trees are sometimes destroyed because they block the light or because they're in the way. In such cases, the destruction can result in there being more resources or more space available for something that's good. The fact that it's possible to make positive changes by destroying things allows one to exploit the fact that destruction is naturally favoured thermodynamically, allowing small efforts to have large effects. One place where this principle can be applied is in cultural evolution. There, there are plenty of bad ideas out there, and often progress can be made by destroying them. Atheists are one group that do this. Having identified Judeo-Christian religion as a serious source of problems in the world, they frequently attempt to destroy its foundations. The jobs of reviewers and critics also sometimes involve destroying the bad. Most reviewers and critics divide their time between praising good things and damning bad ones. Directing consumers away from unworthy things is a useful service that many are prepared to pay for. However, destructive strategies can have their drawbacks. Destruction is often bad, and also it is often unpopular. Even if a building really needs treatment with a wrecking ball, there are sometimes those who lament its loss, and also those who sympathise with those people. In the cultural realm, most ideas that are still around have their supporters, and they often object to their precious ideas being obliterated. Atheists are hated by Christians. Reviewers are hated by those who receive poor, poor reviews. Critics are hated by those who are criticised, and people support the groups that are um, under attack by the people who would destroy their ideas. Many people don't like being hated by even minorities, and they fear the haters will smear their reputation, engage in violent acts, or cause other trouble for them. These drawbacks make people shy away from positive destruction. However, such destruction really does pay, play an essential positive role in the world. The fact that many shy away from it simply increases the scale of the benefits that can be produced by those who are prepared to do it, and the, um, those positive effects add on to the thermodynamic favouring of destruction in the first place, where a little effort can produce a large result. Critics sometimes say, if nothing bad is ever said, nothing good ever gets done. Um, just so. Um, enjoy.